Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It's time now for Education Matters. We're here with Dr. Craig Douglas. Thank you so much for joining us. Good we morning. love having you every week. Yes, thanks for being here. So today we are talking about effectiveness, and it's much more than just test scores. Yeah. So how can we measure a school's effectiveness? So many times we have outside agencies, governmental agencies that rate schools, and, and many times they're ranked, and statistically a ranking is really not very meaningful in terms of telling us much. And so I looked into research and a well-regarded researcher by the name of Robert Morzano has come up with a set of benchmarks and I'll kind of highlight some of what I remember reading about. One is the culture of the school. So I think AMS can walk into a school and assess almost immediately a feel of the school, a feeling mm -hmm. tone of the school. So it's things like what's the school's safety? Um, what's the collaboration and the support that exists? And you can get a feel for, for that as a resident in the community or as a parent looking for prospective schools for kindergartners or whatever, whatever grade uh, child you have. Mm -hmm. Second is very obvious, and that's the effective teaching. Uh, effective teaching found in every classroom, every grade level. So I would explain it this way. So let's say my child has Mrs. Smith for second grade. That would be the same effective teaching as if he had Mrs. Jones. Okay. So that there's a, a collaboration kind of related to the culture piece. Mm -hmm. Third is the curriculum. The curriculum is viable, it's current, and it's based on uh, a set of standards that's not necessarily tied to the, to the teacher's preferences. Um, in the, it, back in the day, many teachers liked to teach particular pet subjects, perhaps. The, the classical stereotype is dinosaurs. You know, some <laughs> teachers maybe really like dinosaurs. So it's possible that Johnny could have gotten, you know, four years of dinosaurs if he had four teachers that liked dinosaurs. Okay. That day is over. Mm -hmm. Curriculum now is based on standards set uh, by either subject area specialists or by uh, curriculum specialists at the State Department. So it's tied to the next piece, and that's that assessment is based on these standards. So that it's not a matter of like or don't like or good or not good. It's based on standards that are objective and measurable. Finally, teachers in effective schools teach to competencies. By that I mean if a child's not actually getting it, whatever it is, many times you know I use addition of fractions as an example, so if they're not competent in adding fractions, it's retaught, repracticed, and relearned. So the, the, the achievement is to a set of competencies. Okay. So these elements that Marzano pitches to me really make sense because they're things that we can intuitively measure ourselves, foot on the ground, we can see it, and it's not something that's a single shot, like a, a ranking. And really quick, so to do this, you uh -huh. would probably go into the school and take a tour yourself instead of kind of searching online then, right? Yes, make, schedule a visit, come in, make a visit, meet the principal, meet the guidance staff, get a tour of the building. You can really get a sense of the, of the school when you see it in operation. Well, thank you so much for the tips and the advice, and we love having you here. And thank you. for more information about today's topic, you can check out the TV5 Hot Links page.